Hello, hello. Welcome, Larissa. Welcome. Welcome. Hi. Welcome, Good teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Fine, thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm happy to see you today, right? Thank you, I, teacher. I read your message that yesterday was impossible for you, right? Don't worry. Yes. I, I yes. understand. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. Now, sure. let's begin with the class, right? I will share with you a platform. We're going to see the review of yesterday. Hello, Papa. Ahorita voy a clase. Eh, mire, casi entrando voy a la casa porque nos tocó un día bien. Bueno, a mí me tocó un día bien pesado. Y entonces entrando a la casa voy y tengo clases de inglés. Nomás habla de inglés, le hablo. Okay. A las 10 voy a salir de clase. Ok. Now, section two, right? How do you spend your day? Let me see. We were working here. Let me see. Okay. Knowledge check, right? Knowledge check. Let me see. We're entering the platform. We're going to make this together, right? We're going to make this together. Yesterday you say, we didn't, teacher. No lo hemos hecho aún, teacher. Okay, so, but today, I want we do it together, right? Simple present WH question words. Okay. Now, let's do it together, right? What time, what, sorry, what does or what do? Larissa, for you, is does or do in number one? Um, yes, um, what? Remember, this is knowledge check. Este es laboratorio 2.4. Yes, 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 no. Uh -huh. no. What does or what do you do? Does? What does you do? Okay, wait a minute, Larissa. Does or do? Only one, ah. right? No, no. Yes. What what does you do? What does you do? Uh -huh. Okay. Now, where do you go or go? Eh, let me see. Por ahí está Mauricio queriéndose conectar. Vamos a ver. Dinora, please. Dinora, help me, please. Eh, where do you go? Go, right? Go. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Avi, welcome, Avi. How or where, Avi? Is how do you like your class? Okay, thank you. ¿Qué tal siguió su niña, Avi? ¿Todo bien? Ahí, más o menos. Oh. Con fiebre. Pobrecita, hay que seguirle dando la medicina, ¿verdad? Sí. Espero que me more. Ok, thank you. Gracias. Thank you, thank you. Now, number four. What do Tania o what does Tania? Mirna. What does, teacher? What does, thank you. <laughs> And number five. What does she do exactly? She teaches or she teach? Cristina. She teaches. She teaches. Thank you. What about Ryan? Where does he work? He works or he work? Um, Marvin Castro. 
Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome, Marvin. So, in your opinion, number six is works or work, Marvin? Works. Works. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, oh, let me see. Tenemos un estudiante nuevo, Ricardo Vega, is it right? Hello, Ricardo. Hello, teacher. Welcome to the class. Es su primer clase, ¿verdad, Ricardo? Sí, sí, no me voy a conectar. Ah, ok. Uh, pero ha estado trabajando en la plataforma, Ricardo. Sí, y lo está viendo en YouTube también. Ah, ok. Thank you. Thank you very much, right? Ok, now, okay. let me see. Mauricio Pérez. Mauricio, can you hear me, Mauricio? Hello. Hello, welcome. Eh, <laughs> sí, sí. Where does or what does? He do exactly. Where or what, Mauricio? What does he do exactly? What does he do exactly? Okay. Now we're going to check. And tan 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 tan. Ooh, number one, right? Number one is the only one. Eh, Karen Flores. Well, it's easy, right? It's un poco fácil, verdad, Karen? ¿Cuál es la respuesta correcta? Does or do? ¿Cuál sería, Karen? Hello. Qué buena vida, ¿va? Sería do. Do. Se la puse difícil a Karen. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. Now, so everything is correct, right? Thank you for everybody. Okay, that's nice, right? Now, we're going to review uh, the video of time expression. Vamos a repasar el 2.8. 2.8, 8, right? Time expressions. Este es el video que vimos ayer cuando usamos eh, las preposiciones de tiempo in, on, and at, right? Okay, review. Let's review. This will be able to identify and use time expressions such as prepositions and adverbs of time. Time expressions. I get up at 7 in the morning on weekdays. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I wake up before noon on Sundays. I wake up after noon on Sundays. Expressing clock time. Seven. Seven. Seven o'clock. Seven a.m. equals seven in the morning. Seven p.m. equals seven in the evening. Okay, so now let's talk about at, in, and on. At. This preposition of time is used to discuss a specific time, including exceptions such as night. Examples, we have classes at 8 p.m. We have classes at 8 at night. In, this preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night, months, and years. Examples, we have classes in the morning. My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico in 1989. On. This preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, a specific dates. Examples, we will meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December 25th. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to... I will... 7 o'clock. Okay, In let me see. On. To review, right? When do you use... When do you use at, right? In general, for specific time. And some specific expression, right? Night, noon, at midnight. So we say at 7 o'clock, at 3 o'clock, at 4.30, at 5.15, at etc., etc. Specific time. At, right? And with night, midnight, and noon. At night. At midnight, at noon, right? En la noche, a medianoche, al mediodía, right? At, you use that. We use in with some general parts of the day, right? 
in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Right? We also use it with uh, month and year. So we say in June, in September, and years, in 1989, in 2021, right? Now, on, we use on with uh, certain portions of the week. For example, we say on weekdays, on weekends. Also, we can use this with days. For example, on Friday, on Sunday, on Tuesday, etc., etc. And we use on with dates, fechas, right? On December 25th, on September 29th, today, right? Okay, so the only thing you have to do there is to memorize. Lo único que tenemos que hacer con esta parte es memorizarlo, ¿verdad? Para a la hora que usamos estas tres proposiciones no nos confundamos. Good. I don't know if you have any extra question, class. No sé si hay alguna pregunta extra sobre las preposiciones in, on, and at. Algo que no nos haya quedado claro ahí. No, no questions. Ok. Now okay, let's go. No, let's no, yes, no. Ok, thank you. Thank you very much. Vamos a leer los comentarios. Ayer prometimos hacer más comentarios. Vamos a ver. Ok. Yes. Hoy sí hay por lo menos unos cinco, cuatro por aquí. Ok, listen. I get up at 5 a.m. every day. Eh? Aquí creo que quisieron poner every day, right? I think her birthday is on January, right? At 5 a.m. on January 20th. That's nice. Si no estuviera el 20, aquí tendríamos que haber puesto in January, right? Pero como está el 20, pues entonces decimos on. We get up at 5, at 5. She has to drive in the morning, in the morning. That's nice. Congratulations. Rocío Flores. Congratulations, Rocío. My birthday is on July 10th. Okay, nice. Hace dos meses estuvo celebrando su cumpleaños, Rocío, right? But remember, you have to start with a capital letter, hay que comenzar con mayúscula, y los meses del año con mayúscula, right? The Mother's Day is in May. Good, Rocío. In May. Los meses del año se usan con eh, la preposición in, right? I wake, wake up at six. I start to work at seven. Specific time, at, right? I get up at 9 a.m. Good. No me han puesto el nombre acá, pero es de nuestro grupo, ¿verdad? Every morning. Aquí nos falta un punto. It says, I go to bed around 12 in the evening. In the evening, la noche, right? On Friday. Uh, aquí solo nos faltó la mayúscula para Friday. Los días de la semana siempre se escriben con mayúscula. Y un puntito. Ok. We have classes at 6 p.m. at night. Ok. That's nice. Eh, pero aún sigo esperando más comentarios. ¿Verdad? Y pónganle su nombre. Eh, por ejemplo, van a escribir un ejemplo de las preposiciones. Pon ahí, yo saber. Godofredo, right? Y ahí vamos a leer juntos sus comentarios. Ok. Now let's continue. No le check. Good. At, on, or in, right? Now, please, I want your honesty. Vamos a apelar a la honestidad del grupo. ¿Ya lo hicieron todos? El 2.9, 2.9. Sí, teacher. Sí, yes, yes, teacher. Ok, ¿lo podemos hacer entonces juntos? Yes. 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 Okie dokie. Now, number one. Uh, I will start according to the order, right? Abby. Uh, eh, Abby, at, on, or in? I get up at six. At six. Thank up. you very much. 
Marvin Castro, I go to bed at, on, or in the morning. I go to the... Marvin, Marvin Castro. Hello, teacher, lo siento. Don't worry, I go to bed at the morning, on the morning, or in the morning. Maurice, Marvin, sorry. In the morning. In the morning, thank you. Mauricio Perez, I start work on, in, or at 11.30, Mauricio. Uh, at. At, thank you. Luis Canales. Tell me, Luis, uh, number four, I have lunch at 2 p.m. At the afternoon, in, in the, the afternoon, or on the afternoon, Luis? In, in the afternoon. In the afternoon, thank you. I stay up at 1 a.m., right? At weekends, on weekends, or on in weekends. Vamos a ver quién nos ayuda aquí. Eh, Verónica López. Hello, Verónica. Oh, on, teacher. On. Mm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Esto no te hace desvelarse hasta la una. No, no, no. Eso jamás. Desvelarse hasta las dos, sí. Pero a la una, no. No, no. I'm <laughs> okay, now, number six. I wake up late on Sundays, in Sundays, or at Sundays. Cristina Mat Matías. Cristina. Um, Sunday. Also. On oh. Sunday. Okay. Seven. Marvin Lue. I watch TV at the evening, on the evening, or in the evening, Marvin. In the evening. Thank you, Marvin. Number eight. Ricardo. Vamos a ver si está en la... En, con el tema, no se preocupe si se equivoca, Ricardo, porque yo sé que usted, okay. primera vez que está con nosotros, no se preocupe. I do my homework on four in the afternoon, around four, o in four. La más difícil es tocó, Ricardo. Ahí sí. On, around, or in. Around es alrededor, right? Sí. No, I, I don't know. No, right? Si lo agarramos en el curso, no se preocupe. Marvin. Marvin. Hello, Marvin. Hello. Eh, what is correct? On for, around for, o in for? Mm, yo, around from. Around, right? Esta no la habíamos visto, pero desde ya le adelanto que está correcta. Around, ¿verdad? Ok, nine. Es que ya la había hecho y me salió mal. Uh, pero ahora sí le salió bien, ¿verdad? Ok, who's next? Karen, right? Karen Flores. Karen, I work at, on, dos veces está at, ¿verdad? Ok, doesn't matter. Eh, Karen. ¿Por qué dos veces? Dos por uno igual que las dos. ¿Verdad? I'm sorry, Karen. Es Perdone on. que le estoy poniendo la, la demasiado lógica, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. It's on. On, right? Okay, number 10. I get home. Larissa. I get home late. At or on? Llego a casa. I get home at. Ah, no. I get home late. Late. Okay. Late. Okay. Let's do it together. Let me see. Number one. Cling. Number two, clean. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, no, no, eleven, no, sorry, ten, right? Perfect. Claps to you. Congratulations. Nice. Okie dokie. Let me see if we can make another one. Vamos a ver si hacemos dos más aquí porque esto está largo. Listen, right? Daily exercise, daily schedules. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Helen talk about their daily schedules. Aquí tenemos tres personas hablando de sus hor horarios diarios, daily schedules, right? Complete the information for each person, right? Write 
numbers y letters. Los números los vamos a escribir en letras. Son lo que dice aquí. Ok. Now let's just start reading, right? Ronnie is a... He gets up. He gets home, right? He goes to bed. Tenemos cuatro oraciones de Ronnie. Listen, please. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m., and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. Okay, that's enough information. Listen again. A chart. What do you do, Rodney? What do you do, Rodney? What, do you, what is your occupation, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and... I get up at... I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. Okay, so we have a note with Rodney, right? Rodney is a... No specific, only volunteer, please. A Rodney chef. is a... It's a chef. Chef. It's chef. It's chef. 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 chef teacher. Okay, good. <laughs> no occupation, no. I don't understand. Okay, chef. <laughs> Good, thank you. He gets up at? 9 a.m. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Solo que aquí no sé cómo poner el a.m. Lo vamos a poner así, a ver si no sale bien. Si no, solo lo dejamos 9, right? Number three, he gets up, he gets home at? 11 p.m. 11, right? 11 p.m. Okay, and he goes to bed. Hasta que hora se va a la cama el pobre Rodney? What time? Escuchamos esa última parte, listen. At midnight. Get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m. And I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. I'm usually in bed? Uh-huh. In the morning. In the morning, right? What time in the morning? Um, 6 a.m. Sorry? 6 a.m. 3. 6. No. 6 a.m. Hasta las 6 de la mañana. No, listen, listen. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m. And I'm usually in bed by one in the morning. Uh huh. One in the morning. One in the morning. Yes, one in the morning. Sí, cuesta entenderle, verdad? Pero hay que escucharlo varias veces. One. So I'm gonna ponerle one, right? Okay. Now, Tina. Listen about Tina. Tina is a uh, the occupation, right? She gets up. She gets home and she goes to bed. ¿A qué hora se levanta? ¿A qué hora se va? Regresa a casa y a qué hora se va a su camita. ¿Ok? Tina. Listen. Se nos trabó ya. Listen. Ok. Give me a second. Deme un segundito, vamos a destrabar esto. Ok. Eh, teacher, si no se lo esté refrescando la página, eso me pasaba a mí. Ok, listen. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m. 
and I'm usually in bed by one in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular nine to five office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Okay, now, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, teacher. thank you. Yes, teacher. Es que yes. me, puse, me puse los headphones porque está lloviendo fuerte aquí en mi casa. Si se llega a ir la luz, pues, es que porque se cortó la señal, así que no se van a asustar si se va la luz. Okay, now, let's continue. Tina, right? Tina is what? What is her occupation? Office manager. Office manager. Okay. Office manager. Good. And she gets up what time? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Mm, no, listen, listen, please. 7. Listen, listen. Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular nine to five office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. Seven. Seven, right? Seven. Para que no nos rechacen, solo vamos a poner seven. So she gets home? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Six, Six, right? Oops. And she goes to bed? Midnight. 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 Listen, listen, listen. Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular nine to five office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, Very though, good. because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. Okay, midnight, right? Midnight. Okay. Now, Helen. Listen about Helen. Pay attention about Helen. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Again, again. Well, Ellen? Well... My job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at six in the morning. Okay, so Helen is what? Flight what attendant. Flight, flight attendant. Attendant. Okay, and she gets up what time? Again? Listen. Hi, I am. Listen. My job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at six in the morning. Uh huh. Six in the morning. Six, right? Okay. And she gets home. She gets home what time? So I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until nine o'clock at night. Uh huh. One more time. One more time. Listen. Ding. Six in the morning. So I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow. That's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around Nine. 10. Okay. Let's do it together. She get home? What? Nine. And she goes to bed what time? Around 10. 10, right? 10. OK, let me see. Vamos a ver si nos sale bien. Este está un poco difícil porque algunos hay que poner AM, PM. OK, nos salieron dos malas. Vamos a ver. OK. Solo la de Helen no salió mala. She gets up. Creo que Le esa va... es five. Five, right? 
Vamos a ver con Pai. ¿Ok? Okie dokie, right? Good. Now, algunos nos cuesta un poquito más el listening. Mi recomendación es que se aprendan una canción por semana, right? Eh, en YouTube hay canciones eh, que usted le pone lyrics, la letra, right? Y ya pueden practicar. Esa es una de las cosas. O oh, ver películas en inglés. Eso ayuda muchísimo a mejorar su, su listening. Porque esa es una de las habilidades más difíciles en inglés, especialmente por la pronunciación de los gringos que es, y de los británicos, que es bastante difícil. Ok. Now, to finish, we're going to go to reading, right? Reading, exercise. Why do you need, uh, sorry, why do you need a job? ¿Por qué necesitamos un trabajo? So we'll read for you, and then you tell me the answer, right? Uh, yesterday we read this, right? Este como que lo habíamos leído ayer, ¿verdad? Bless you. Okay. Pero lo vamos a leer nuevamente para que usted responda. Listen. Teresa Glass, I don't have time to work, but I need a job because college is very expensive. I study art. I have class all day on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and on Tuesday and Thursday morning. I usually study on weekends. I don't have any experience, but I can learn quickly. So, Teresa needs a job to earn money, save money, or to buy a house. Earn money. Air money. Air money. Quiere ganar pistillo. Okay. Second one. Karen Thomas. My husband and I have a new baby. He makes a good salary, but we don't have we don't save much money. We want to save money to buy a house. I take care of the baby, so I need a job. I can do at home. I know how to type and I have a computer. So, Katie needs a job to go out on weekends, buy a house, or save money. Save, save money. money. Save money. Okay. Lamar Andrew, right? Es, esta respuesta creo que se la vamos a dar a Karen. <laughs> no, son bromas, Karen. Okay. I'm 16 now and I don't get and allowance from my parents anymore. I need to earn some money because I like to go out on the weekend with my friends. I go to school every day from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. My father owns a restaurant, so I know a little about restaurant work. Okay? So, earn money, buy a house, or go out on weekends. Go out on weekend. Go out on weekend. Let me see. Perfect, right? A lot of work to do, eh? Yes. Now, let's start with the class of today. Este es solo el repaso. Only the review, right? Ahorita es cuando vamos a comenzar a clase. Now, listen. Let's go to the PowerPoint presentation. Let's do it. Today, vocabulary, places and things, right? Pronunciation of compound nouns and preposition of place. Okay, wait. Okay, in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation of demonstrative while shopping. Demonstrative. Okay, now. Vocabulary. Neighborhood, earrings, necklace, get it, present. Oops, 
Only that, right? Okay, repeat after me, please. Neighborhood. Earrings. Necklace. Get it. Present. Okay, class. Do you have questions about vocabulary? Do you understand? I can't understand the first word. Neighborhood, vecindario. Neighbor means vecino, right? Vecino. And who is lugar? Lugar donde hay varios vecinos, neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Neighborhood. Good. Okay, teacher. And, and earrings Excuse me, is... teacher. Yes, yes. Uh, Nichols, uh, I don't remember. Nichols is a... Uh, uh, aritos? No, no. Earrings is no. aritos. Nichols. Ah, earrings. Earrings means ring is anillo. Anillo. Ah. E ear is oreja. Quiere decir anillo para las orejas. O, como decimos en español, aritos. <laughs> Aros pequeños, right? aritos. And necklace means cuello, pescuecito, como decimos en español, en lace, un lacito para el cuello, o sea, un, un collar, una cadena. Bueno, aunque cadena se dice chain, pero es un collar, right? Thank Now, you, teacher. I forgot the, the, the words. Don't worry, don't worry. Now, get it, comprar. En este caso, get has a lot of meaning, right? Tiene mucho significado, pero en este caso significa comprar, get it. En present, what is present? Un regalo. Oh, yes, present. a gift, a gift, a un gift. regalo, right? A gift. In present. Present. Very you give good. give a present to your wife? Yes, of course. December. My, <laughs> yes. ani my anniversary is in December, right? Oh, okay. Yes. Good. Now, let's go to the next part, right? By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns. This, this, that, those, to express possible choices, right? Okay, now, when to use the demonstrative? We have four demonstratives. This, that, this and those. When do we use this? We use this with things that are singular. Singular and that are near you. Vamos a usar this cuando el objeto que señalamos es singular. One example, right? This notebook. This notebook. This marker. This marker. This pencil. This pencil. Okay, give me a second. This tie. This tie. Okay, listen, oops, sorry. Okay, example, this car, this pencil, notice, singular and is near, está cerca. This pencil, right? Okay, now that, we use that with things that are singular and that are far from you. Singulares, pero que están lejos. Give me a second. That shirt. That shirt. Is far, right? Está lejos. Está lejos. It's far. And it's only one. One. That tie, that tie, right? Is far. 
Distance. Distance. Okay? Okay, now, let's continue. That park over there. El parque que está por ahí, right? That park. That tree in the forest. Ese árbol que está allá en el bosque, right? That tree in the forest. That. Okay, now. We use... Oops, sorry. Something happened here? Okay, good. Ya me había asustado, pero... Okay, now. This is a demonstrative that we use for plural. Plural things and things that are near you, right? These, plural, right? Two. These ties. Plural, right? And near, near me, right? Oops. <laughs> Okay, good. Plural. These cars, these pencils. Those. We use those with things that are plural and that are far from you. For example, Those notebooks. Those notebooks. Plural and they are far, right? Let's see. Sorry. Example. Those parks over there. Esos parques que están por ahí, right? Those trees in the forest. Esos árboles. Esos árboles, right? In the forest. Good. Any question about demonstratives? This singular, that singular. This plural, those plural. Listen to the pronunciation. These, those, right? Plural. And this with S, this singular. And that with singular, right? This is close, near, cerca. That is far, distant, right? This is near, cerca, and those, lejos, right? Understand? Okay, now we're going to make an exercise. We're going to make an exercise. Por entrar tarde, vamos a castigar a Kenneth, right? Ahí le vamos a preguntar primero. Kenneth, ready? Ready, teacher. Okay. This, that, these, or those. Okay, Kenneth? Uh, in this case, for me, that. Oh, yes. Yeah. That book. <laughs> and for the teacher? <laughs> We're going to say for, the teacher, for you, right? For you, this. This, yes. For, for you, this, this book. Thank you, Kenneth. You're very intelligent, yes. In this case, the exercise is about me, right? Vamos a tomar como referencia al teacher. Ok. Good. Now, let me see. Uh, Dinora, please. Dinora. Ok, Dinora. Sería. Mm. These. These, right? These ties. These, These okay. ties. Okay? These ties. Now, uh, Veronica. Ready, Veronica? Give me a sec. Give me a okay. sec. Está lloviendo por ahí, ¿verdad, Veronica? Sí, sí, yeah. está lloviendo. Okay. Yeah, give me a second. Give me a second. Mm -hmm.
Pay this, attention. No, wait, wait, wait. The, okay. Uh huh. Let these pants. Ah, no, perdón. That pants. No. These pants. Listen in English. Pants. Ah, okay, pants. Is plural. In, plural. It's, it's oh. plural. Because mm -hmm. two. In English, pants is plural porque tiene dos mangas. One. Okay. And two. So we say plural, right? Siempre Entonces pantalones, sería, en español decimos this. un pantalón, correct, okay, but in English sí. no, ok, again. Entonces, teacher, sería this. No, está lejito, this. Denise, está lejito, Verónica. Ah, ok, dos, dos. Dos, correct. Dos. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. Uh -huh. Now, Godofredo. Ready, Godofredo? Hello. Eh, sería tes, ese que escribe tese, tis. <laughs> ok, this. Este es con sonido, con sonido como de Z, Godofredo. Z, z. This, this, this. Repeat, please. These this. pants. These pants. Excellent. Thank you, Godofredo. This. Ok, now, who's next? Rocío. This. This what? Tie, right? Rocío? Tie. Tie. Again, repeat, please. Tie. Repeat. This tie. Excellent. Thank you very much. Abby. Abby. And the book is. Sorry, sorry, it's a nab book. Nab book. Ah, a nab book. Nab book. Uh -huh. Okay, the book is those. No, those is plural. Only uh, one. Uh -huh. Okay, and is this? The notebook is... Okay, I will help you. Two, uh -huh. options. Two options. This or that? This. Uh, is that. That, okay. Yes, because that. it's far. Yes, it's far, right? Okay, thank you, Abby. Now, Mauricio Alarcón. Hi. It's this book. This, this book. book. This, okay. Luis Canales. Luis? Markers, um, markers, markers, markers. Okay, okay, okay. These markers. These markers. Very good. Now, um, who's next? Martin Castro. Martin Castro, ready? Yes, teacher. Uh, dos, dos pencils. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Mirna. Ready, Mirna? Teacher. Hello, yes. This pencil. Excellent. Cristina. This tie. Good. Karen. This, this. Uh -huh. How do you say camisa? Uh -huh. How do you say uh, camisa in English? Shirt. 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 Okay, now. Uh, this shirt. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Okay, let me see. Someone that I miss. Alguien que me faltó. 
Okay, good. Now we're going to go to the uh, pronouns one and ones. One and one, right? Those were the demonstratives. Eso eran los demonstrativos. Lo que señalan, right? Now we're going to learn about one and one. When we are talking about countable things, countable things, we can use one or ones if it is clear what we're talking about, right? Cuando usamos cosas contables, podemos usar los pronombres one and ones. Siempre y cuando esté claro de que estemos hablando. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, I have two pencils here, right? So we're talking about pencils. ¿Estamos claros todos que estamos hablando de pencils? Sí, ¿verdad? Entonces, podemos decir, uh, I like that one. Me gusta este. That one. Todos sabemos que estamos hablando de lápiz, pero cuando digo one, sabemos todos que me refiero a un lápiz. I don't need to say pencil again, right? No es necesario que diga pencil de nuevo. Okay, I like pencils, but I like that one. O in plural, I can say, I like pencils, I like those ones. Okay? Ya no necesito decir pencils otra vez, porque estoy sustituyendo pencils for ones, en plural. O en singular, estoy sustituyendo pencil for one. Okay? Quiere decir que one es para singular, ones es para plural. Y los utilizamos solo cuando ya sabemos de qué estamos hablando. To avoid repeating yourselves, you can use one when you're talking about singular countable nouns. Cuando eh, queremos hablar de un nombre singular, usamos one. Y cuando hablamos de un nombre plural, vamos a usar ones. ¿Ok? Vamos a hacer un pequeño ejercicio. Practice, right? Uh, okay, let me see. We're going to start with uh, Karen, please. You're going to tell me one or ones. Okay? Remember, one is for singular and ones for plural. This bag is very old. Esta cartera es, ya está viejita, ¿verdad? Eh, por cierto, no sé por qué las mujeres siempre dicen lo mismo, que la cartera la acaban de comprar, pero ella siempre está viejita. Okay. This bag is very old. I need a new... One. One. Perdón. One or once? One. Ok, very good. Now, number two. Cristina. Small pineapples. Las piñitas, las piñas pequeñas, right? are sweeter, son más dulcitas, than the... One. Mm, pay attention, Cristina. Small pineapples, okay, are sweeter than the... Uh, I don't remember the pronunciation de... The one is... Listen, listen, Cristina, you, you have two options only. Or one or once. Once. Ok, once, right? Note, right? Vean que no es necesario decir otra vez pineapples. Oigan cómo se oye cuando yo repito pineapples. Small pineapples are sweeter than big pineapples. Suena el redundante. Pineapple, pineapple, but come on. No, in this case, Instead of say pineapples, en lugar de decir pineapples, digo the ones. Y la palabra ones en este caso significa piñas, right? Okay? Pineapples. Good. Number three. Mirna, the new smartphones are much faster. Son más rápidos los smartphones que los Nokia, aquellos que parecían piedra, ¿verdad? Than the old, Mirna. Ones. Ones, correct. Number four. Marvin Castro. Marvin, which is your car? 
The black. The one. Okay. Silvia. Or the white. Eh, one. Ones. Ah, one or one, Silvia? One. One, correct, right? Because we're talking about only one car, right? Marvin, yes. Marvin, thank you, thank you, Silvia. Now, Marvin Lue, she needs new shoes. The old? Ones. Ones, correct, very good. Aquí está otro mito entre mujeres y hombres, ¿verdad? De, las mujeres siempre creen que necesitan zapatos nuevos. <risa> ok. Nosotros nos conformamos con unos cinco pares al año. <risa> ok. Now, eh, number six. Mauricio Pérez, please, Mauricio. If you buy two bottles of water, two bottles of water, you get a third? Uh, once. Mm -hmm. Este está más difícil, Mauricio. Uh, okay, óigame bien, aquí la tal es decir a third, a third, una a tercera, third. Right? Uh -huh. a third one, one, correct, que aquí hay una trampa, vean, aquí dice bottles, ¿verdad? pero si dice, if you buy two bottles of water, si compra dos botellas de agua, la tercera, la tercera botella, no solo hay una tercera, no hay una, no hay dos terceras, ¿va? solo es una tercera. Solo son tres botellas. You get a third one free. Ok. That's it, right? Good. Now we have only time to see a video, right? Se nos fue el tiempo. Eh, solo nos queda tiempo de ver un video y terminamos la clase. Ok, let me see. Um, Video, time expression, right? This is the one. Time expression. No, 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 sorry. This is, excuse me, we're going to three, right? Estamos en la número tres, sección tres. Excuse me. Section three, yes. Ya me había perdido, okay. They are better for you, said, right? They are it's a conversation. They are perfect for you. Quizá le voy a robar unos dos minutitos porque me urge que veamos, solo que veamos el otro video, ¿ok? Now pay attention, please. Hi, we're now in section three. What is your neighborhood like? Please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. Now let's check the I conversation. I recommend for you to take notes while you are... While shopping. Sure. No, the yellow ones. Okay. Ah, okay, good. Now, look at those, those, those earrings, those right? Earrings. Those earrings. Look, the distance, right? Está lejos de los aritos. So it says, those earrings. Then, it says, the red ones. Cuando decimos ones, ¿a qué nos estamos refiriendo? A plural. Ajá, pero, ¿qué objeto? ¿Qué objeto en la conversación nos estamos refiriendo? Earrings. Earrings. Entonces, ya mencioné earrings. earrings. Ya no necesito decir the red earrings. Ya no necesito decir the red earrings. Digo the red ones. Yeah. Ok. Y seguimos hablando de los earrings. The yellow ones. Cuando digo the yellow ones, ¿a qué me refiero? 
Earrings. Earrings, ok. Oh, this. Como ya los agarró los, los earrings, ya la, la, eh, la muchacha amarilla dice this, esto. Right? Ok. And then, luego hablamos de un necklace. Un collar, right? Which one? Aquí no digo which, which one. necklace, digo which one. En lugar de decir necklace, sustituyo necklace with one, right? ¿Cuántos collares son? One. One. Only one, right? That blue. Mm -hmm. That. Como está lejos y solo es un collar, entonces that. ¿Ok? That. Good. Mm -hmm. Y vean That's qué suertuda true. es María, porque Steve está súper enamorado de ella. No me importa que sea caro, yo te lo compro. It's a present. No importa que valga cuatro mil dólares, aquí está. Pero que sus esposos, chicas, y sus novios les digan, aquí está, sí. <laughs> ok, good. Now, to finish, we're going to watch the last video, right? Vamos a ver el último video, les voy a robar dos minutitos. Sorry. No nos vamos a acostar más noche. And 95 cents. This, these, that, those to express possible choices. Hello, this is what we're going to do. We will listen to the audio program first, try to follow the topic, and as soon as it is done, we will talk about it. Demonstratives. One, one. This, this. How much is this necklace? How much is this one? How much is that necklace? How much is that one? Which one? The blue one. It's $42. How much are these earrings? How much are these? How much are those earrings? How much are those? Which ones? The yellow ones. They're $18. Prices. $42. $59.95. $59.95. As you realized, we're talking about demonstrative pronouns. As mm -hmm. you know, there are four. This, these, that, those. I know you have studied this before, so we will make a quick review. This, singular, near. These, plural, near. That, singular, far. Those, plural, far. Therefore, we use is for this and that mm -hmm. and are mm -hmm. for these and those. In English, we use one or ones very often when talking about choosing or having more than one option. For example, I ask, is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? Yes, the red yes, one. Yes. yes, it is. The words one or ones yes, always go is. at the end of the question and answers, yes, and they replace yes, the noun is. in question. Okay. So that's it, right? I don't know if you have any extra question. Hay una pregunta antes de terminar el, la clase de este día, please. Do you have any question? Questions? No, teacher. No questions. Okay. No, teacher. No questions. Sorry. Um, hemos, estos días hemos estado trabajando con mucho material, ¿verdad? Por eso... Eh, he estado uh, terminando unos minutos tarde, pero uh, especialmente mañana y el jueves vamos a tener más oportunidad para practicar más, ¿verdad? Y no saturarlos de mucho material. Ok, so thank you very much. God bless you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.